How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome to a game called One Night Stand. This is a game about obviously having a one night stand, but it seems really cool because what you have to do is you wake up beside someone and you're trying to recollect the events of the night before and uh, you know, you're looking through your phone messages or whatever. What I gathered from the game on the Steam page and it seems really interesting. It seems like a really interesting concept and I'm, gonna, I'm excited to explore it. Now, I've had a couple one night stands in my life, a few, you know, just here and there sprinkled about. And they've all been interesting because they've ranged from being kind of awkward, a little bit, not, not too much. You know, I kind of, how should I say, I, I know how to joke a little bit so I can kind of make a situation less awkward. But they've ranged from awkward to like waking up the next day and being like, yeah, that was awesome, right? So... One night stands, they can be hit or miss, right? They, they certainly can be. I don't know why I just told that to YouTube, you know? Hey everyone on YouTube, I've had a couple one night stands before. I just wanted to relate to the game is all, you know? So I kind of, I know a little bit about it. That's all, that's all, okay? I just wanted to relate to the game. It, it's not something that should be, you know, shunned. Like, oh, you shouldn't talk about that kind of thing on YouTube, right? I don't think it should be shunned. Having a one night stand can be a great thing. You know, it's fun. Ugh. My head. I certainly know that feeling. I, 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 I'm in Korea and like every time I drink in Korea, I'm like, I'm never drinking again. And then like two weeks later, I go out drinking with some Korean friends. It's horrible. Not horrible. It's fun and no regrets. But you know, the next morning. Oh my God. My stomach. I never get stomach pains. I feel like crap. I actually just always get... I get very headachey and my throat hurts. Never get stomach pains after drinking. I never really barf. Nice. That's nice. It is nice. But at the same time, maybe I should barf and I'd feel a lot better after I did. Last night, what happened? Drink. <laughs> Lots of drink happened. Been there, buddy. Oh, what's that noise? What are we going to open our eyes to? That's just the phone. My phone! Where's my phone? It's, it's right there. Should I be grabbing it? Oh, yeah, okay. God, wow, your vision's really blurry. Jeez. You're in rough condition. Shut up, phone! I totally know that. <laughs> Mate, what the hell happened last night? Uh, maybe I should type something. Gary, what does he want? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was out with Gary last... Oh, jeez, really? <laughs> you don't remember that much? He doesn't sound too happy with me, though. He just... Should I respond? Sure, yeah, of course. There's many different endings to this game. Apparently there's like 12 different endings. I'm just going to play through it once though. So that, you know, every playthrough is unique and it gives you guys a reason to actually go and uh, play the game yourself. I have no idea, but I've woken up with a banging hangover, you. Um, oh shit, I only have 5% battery remaining. Crap, my phone is about to die. Maybe I should have saved that battery power. I better plug it in before the battery runs out. Where's my phone charger? That's not it. Are you even in your own house? That's not it either. My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. You're not in your own place, dude. Wait. Ha ha ha. This isn't my bedside table. This isn't even my room. Where am I? I know where you are. <laughs> you promiscuous son of a bee. My clothes, they're all over the floor. Am I stark naked with a massive morning boner? I'm completely naked. And there's a condom pack on the ground, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hmm? Oh, hey, sweet cheeks. Whoa! Oh, sweet cheeks, what a ha! <laughs> okay, baby, baby. It was awkward when I woke up beside someone and called them sweet cheeks. Who is she? I didn't do that, by the way. Just for the record. Why am I in her bed? Did, did we hook up? Oh, God. Of Well, the thing is, you either... There's two possibilities. You either hooked up... Or you were about to hook up, but you were so drunk you just couldn't get it up, or you couldn't you couldn't perform properly, one or the other. And either way, you know, kind kind of similar. This must be her room. I hope this is her room. Where else would you be? But who is she? Mm -hmm. This is an interesting situation. But who is she? I mean, you don't even know who she is. The thing is, the thing that's different about my one night stands is I always knew who the, who the girl was. You know, I re I recall the events. I never really blacked out, but I'd recall the events leading up to it and, you know, and also the act. But, you know, like, this guy doesn't even know who she is. Like, he doesn't remember meeting her and then going back here. That's, like, that's insane, you know. I've That's an interesting situation. Something that I don't think many people have had. Maybe some people have had that, though. 
Dude, you bailed on me. I gave up a date to go drinking with you and you wander off with another one round? What the hell? Gary ditched his date and I ditched him? Shit. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? I can't remember. One round? Well, what the hell happened to me? Hmm, if Gary knew about the situation I was in, he might be able to laugh it off or give me some information at least. Were we drugged? One round of drinks and I was gone? Should I tell Gary about this girl? Oh, man, that's a good question. Should we tell Gary about the girl? Um, yeah, we shouldn't lie. Let's just say yes. He's gonna be pissed because, you know, made him really sorry about last night, but I've just woken up in some girl's bed. So maybe, uh, he's not gonna be very understanding, though. He's gonna be like, but I gave up a date to be with you, you piece of shit. Hopefully Gary can shed some light on this situation. Oh, that's true, too. Maybe Gary can help us. Ha! <laughs> Bullshit! You're crap at pulling, mate. You're gonna need a better excuse than that. No, seriously. Well, let's not take a picture, though. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence, Gary. Shit. I can't remember anything that happened last night. It's such a blur. Leaving Gary seems to ring a bell, but I don't even know who this girl lying next to me is. Where the heck am I? This is gonna be so awkward when she wakes up. Ugh, this hangover is not helping. Well, if Gary's not gonna take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. It would definitely shut him up. I don't know about that! What should I do? No! I'm not gonna stoop to that. Gary can think whatever the hell he wants. Yeah, exactly. Don't take a picture of the girl you're sitting beside. Be like, evidence! We banged, babe! Huh, you're another notch on my belt. Ooh. No, no, it's not cool. My phone died anyway. Good. I'm glad your phone died. I'm still no closer to finding out what happened last night. What should I do now? Go back to sleep. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Get out of here. Wake her up. Uh, just. <laughs> We're bailing! Get him the fuck out now! No, don't wake up about here. I don't care. I know you let me into your place and you know You liked me probably enough to take me back here, but I'm fucking out of here No, no, we can't do that Um, my I, I think gonna have to wake her up be like hey, babe How's it going? But then then again that could be awkward because she's gonna be like oh it was a great time David I'm gonna be like oh man. I don't remember her name Um go back to sleep Let's just wake her up. Fuck it. I need answers and I need them now! Yeah! Arg, what the? Did she just throw the covers over me? Oh, <laughs> what? What, what happened? Oh no, she's gone? Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. I wonder if she wants me to leave. Oh shit! She just got up and just, oh god, oh no. That's not cool. What's this? It's a pile of magazines. There's some music and gaming mags in here. Gaming mags! She's a keeper. Some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't have time to read them now. Okay, cool. What about these? It's a mirror. How do I look? I oh, yeah, yeah, look pretty good. Well, I may feel like crap, but I've certainly seen worse. What about these tickets? Hmm, she certainly has a lot of stuff stuck onto this. If I loved you less, I might be able to talk about it more. What's this? Oh, oh god! Hmm, there are loads of gig tickets too. Two of these haven't been used yet. I wonder if she's planning on taking with her. Maybe she had a boyfriend or like a really bad breakup and we were the rebound sex. That could be definitely it. Yeah, th this is a photo. Yeah, oh my god, we were the rebound! Oh no! <laughs> is this the girl? The one I woke up next to? She looks young. I hope this is an old photo. I wonder who the guy is. They seem close. I I this photo seems to mean a lot to her anyway. Maybe I should ask her about it. But maybe they're just brother and sister. They look kind of similar. Hey! Ooh, the animation's really cool. Oh, hey. Herk, uh, what should I say? Hey. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> That's all! I'm sorry for dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the bed covers. <laughs> sorry, I woke up feeling pretty dodgy and had to dash to the bathroom. Well, that makes sense, right? I see. Is everything okay? Um, I don't want to go into it. Oh, right. Have you been awake long? Not really, I was woken up by my phone buzzing. Huh, I wondered what that was. It woke me up too. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. But hey, crack a joke! Be like... <laughs> okay, I... Uh, <laughs> I should never be in this situation ever. I would make it extremely more uncomfortable. Exponentially uncomfortable. Uh, let's talk about the photograph, yeah. It's a nice photo you have there. Oh, you mean the one by the mirror? Yeah, the one with the guy stood beside you. I wonder who she is. 
A relative? Let's ask a relative because I think maybe like, uh, you know, they look similar. So a relative? Is he a relative of yours? Like a brother? Yeah, that's my big bro. Of course! See, I knew it! I knew it! I'm a genius! I know how to make conversation. I know how to make things less awkward. EVW, of course! I'm amazing. I think I must have been about 17 when that photo was taken. Oh, so she was younger. Yes, of course. Really? He wasn't always around when I was growing up. He was usually touring around the country with his band. This photo was taken when I went to see him on his band's last ever show. This is great! We're having communication. We're bonding. It's fantastic. You couldn't ask for anything more. She seems cool. She has gaming mags. I think we could turn this into a relationship. Cool. Maybe I should have asked her something more irrelevant. No, what? Why? No, that's great. But what? This all feels awkward as hell. Ask about time. Her. Ask about, oh man, if we ask about her though, maybe she'll be like, I told you that last night. Jesus. The time. Hey, what's the time? Hangover. Um, her. Let's ask about her. I feel like I should know more about her. Yes. But to directly ask, I don't think she'd be too happy with me. Er, nice apartment you have here. <laughs> oh, thanks. I share with my flatmates. That didn't help much. Well, what am I supposed to do? What's up? You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? Um, let's say it's just a hangover. Uh, or I say I feel terrible. Uh, it's just a hangover. We'll say that. Let's play it cool. It's just a hangover. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not surprised. You'd already had quite a few drinks before I met you last night. Quite a few drinks. Didn't Gary say I only had one round of drinks with him last night? I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? Um, coffee as well, sure. Yeah, coffee would help me shake off this hangover. Actually, a coffee does not help shake off a hangover, but I'm stupid. Every time I have a hangover, I think a coffee is gonna be the best thing in the world, but it's not! It's not- it's not good. Sure, I'll go put the kettle on. I hope you don't mind instant. How do you take it? Uh, fancy. I take it with, uh, I take it white. I take it with just milk. That's the best. Seriously, it's the best. Just wait. With milk, please. Ha, <laughs> nice choice. Just how I like. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Oh, God! We're the best match made in heaven! She likes gaming! She likes coffee with just plain milk in it! It's the best! I love you! Yes! We're, oh, my God, yes. This is, it's, it's, it's one minute. Oh, this is gonna, it's beautiful. We're gonna have a fantastic relationship. Okay, she's gone. I've got to try and keep it cool. I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her. Okay, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems... Weird. She seems cool. Yeah, she seems really cool. Yeah, of course. Um, okay, we can save the game. Oops, I accidentally pressed, like, the menu. I see. If you press the scrolly mouse, or right-click is the menu. Okay, saving my game. Still, I don't even know her name. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of a big deal, not knowing her name. I- Oh, there's a condom pack. It's a condom. Well, the wrapper, at least. Seems we had some sense last night. At least that's one mystery wrapped up. Oh, <laughs> terrible pun. Haha, <laughs> mystery wrapped up. This fire looks like it has seen better days. Paradox, Monday Madness. That's probably her brother's band, yeah. Paradox, Monday Madness. I vaguely remember being in a nightclub last night. It must have been there. Okay, that's the nightclub. But I wonder what happened to Gary. Who cares what happened to Gary? Oh no, we missed our opportunity. That's all, I, I, I failed. Here. Thanks, it smells good. <laughs> Hope you like it strong. I do like it strong. It's great, thanks. Are you holding up okay? Holding up? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks. Good. It feels a bit awkward again. I, I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. So, that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. Just alright? You know, I think I owe you my thanks. Thanks? I was feeling pretty down last night. I always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. A dating app? Is that how we met? But a friend of mine met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. Though it took me a while to work up the courage to go through with it. Finding the right guy, getting to know him, eventually agreeing to meet. And then he doesn't even show up. Oh, I see. And then we we rolled along and we were like, Hey you, you're looking fine in the club. I hope we didn't do that. <laughs> or I hope it didn't work anyways. What an asshole. Okay, I think I can assume that the asshole she's talking about isn't me. I was there for over an hour on my own. After that, I was ready to jump into a taxi goal and shut myself in for days. But then you showed up. I'm glad you did. You saw I was down, brought me a drink, and cheered me up. <laughs> I was probably like, Hey, you look sad. You just got a drink to be happy. 
and then you sat down and she was probably like, you're fucking crazy, but I'm not feeling the best, so let's just do it. Yeah, I remember you sympathizing with me a lot. You listen to me go on and on about that dating app, douchebag. <laughs> so thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Hmm, so she got stood up last night. And we must have met after that. Maybe I was just a shoulder for her to cry on, although I did end up here. Whatever the case, it explains why I ended up abandoning Gary last night, a little. Even I, if I can't remember anything we talked about- Man, you can't remember anything? That's very weird. You were functioning very well last night, apparently. If I get blackout drunk, which I have a few times, I, I'm like, I don't function. I'm like, Aah! and I'm like stumbling around like a piece of shit. It's just, no, don't worry about it. I'm glad you had a good night in the end, although I think my mate's a bit pissed with me for ditching him. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. We were just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure he'll get over it. I didn't realize you were out with anyone else. Yeah, I was out with Gary. We started at this bar as bro recommended. I think. <laughs> Gary? Huh? Um, it's nothing. It's the same guy from the app? Maybe? No, no, no. Gary already has a girlfriend. But no, no! Oh my god, it is! Because she ditched... No, no, no. Gary ditched her to come out and hang out with us. Oh my god! Oh, that's crazy! Hold on, which bar? Uh-oh, she's on to me. I can't remember anything, I have no idea which bar- We saw the flyer though! Sure I found the flyer, but that could be anything. Which bar did you go to with your friends? Um, the Stray Sheep? That's from somewhere, I forget the Stray Sheep. Uh, Heartbeats Bar. Um... Let's just not lie. Let's say I just don't remember. Um... Hmm? I have no idea. <laughs> well, what? You don't even remember the bar you were at with your friends? Huh, that's the first place you went! Mustn't remember anything then. Wait, do you even remember my name? Er. Oh my god! Uh oh no. This is humiliating. Oh no, okay, this isn't good. Hmm, so you don't remember anything? Er, um, no. Maybe I can fill you in with what I know. Please do. It would help. Well, I was waiting at the bar in the Paradox nightclub around 10 p.m. I don't. See, I should have just said Paradox. I should have just said that. But the thing is, you don't want, like, lying and then getting caught in your own lie is, like, terrible, you know? That's more awkward than just saying, like, I'm sorry, I don't remember, right? I was pretty tipsy and vaguely remember you approaching me. You didn't seem too drunk. We had a round together and then got chatting. We found a secluded spot and got to know each other, although Paradox got louder as the night went on. That's when you suggested we go elsewhere. But things soon began to get pretty fuzzy. I don't remember much. I don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. Somehow we grabbed a taxi and I guess we ended up here. Hmm. And then? And then? No, don't say that. Just, okay. Okay. That's all I recall anyway. As for you and your friends, I have no idea what happened. No worries. Thanks for helping me fill in some blanks. It's helped a little, but, uh, embarrassing. Oh, someone's at the front door. One minute. Hmm. There's still so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here. Wow, still more clues, huh? Um, what should we look at? The clothes, the, the clothes... There's clothes everywhere. Eyes of embrace. Um, her phone. Oh my god, her phone. Please not her phone. Holy shit. Her panties. The the wine. What should we look at? Um, this is a ring case. It's a little box. Should I open it? No, god, no! No, don't open it. I'll leave it alone. It's probably- Yes! It's probably personal. How about this? It's a romance novel. Eyes of embrace. Eyes of Embrace. The synopsis reads, Daisy Dutton escapes her humble country roots to find true love in a city, bustling with single bachelors, but it'll take more than this country girl's charm to overcome. Modern day conveniences of online dating and Tinder hookups. And even it says it was a summer bestseller. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Seems like she likes romance. It sounds trashy, intriguing. Intriguing, of course. Maybe we should ask her about this. It might be worth a read. Let's ask her about it. Yeah, good. Sorry about that. Who was at the door? Just the mailman. I ordered some books online. Perfect! She ordered some books online! We can talk to her about the book! I'm good at this. Huh, I wonder if she answered it dressed like that. Maybe I should try and get to know her a little more. Romance novel! Hmm, I see you're reading Eyes of Embrace. Haha, <laughs> you found one of my vices. Yeah, I'm a sucker for romance novels. Normally, I can't put these things down once I've started. But this one is... I don't know. It's kind of trashy. Trashy? Don't get me wrong, I can see why people like this stuff. It is a bestseller after all. Call me old-fashioned, I just prefer the works of Austin and Bront way more. You can't beat the classics, huh? 
But I'll finish it anyway. Really? Even though you're not enjoying it? Yeah, of course. I'd hate to leave a book half read. I always try and see them through to the end. I do that with games too, it's a really bad habit. No matter how trashy they are. Exactly, no matter how trashy games are, I still do it. Listen, about last night. Yeah? Going out, meeting a total stranger, and bringing them here, home. This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. She's never had a one night stand before? Have you ever done anything like this before? Uh, well, I have, but I don't know if this guy has. I'll say no. It's my first time. No, I've not. That's reassuring. Makes me feel a bit less uncomfortable about the whole thing. I guess what I'm trying to say is, get the hell out of my house! No, Dad, I'm just kidding. I don't want this to be typical. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. <laughs> Imagine how that would have went down though. Like she she woke up from my phone. So she was awake just lying there, right? And just like us getting up thinking she's still asleep, like ee! <laughs> like <laughs> bailing out. Man, that would be horrible to leave just emotional scars for everyone. I don't know. You were nice to me last night, but I did expect you to leave. I I don't mean you still being here as a bat or anything. <laughs> She's happy I'm still here. I must have managed to make a good impression then, all things considered. Look, um, we didn't really get to know each other that well last night. Or if we did, we barely remember it. Yeah, so she was in the same boat. I've ranted enough about my date troubles. Um, I I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Hmm? Tell me something about you. I'm like, what? Anything. Maybe if we get to know each other a little better, this can be different. Different? Like, I don't know, not as weird. Yeah, I guess. What should I tell her about myself? My hobbies! Talk about your games! Yeah, your hobbies! Well, I guess I'll start with... Erg. Huh? Sorry, I'll be right back. Oh, she's really ill. Oh god, she's ill. She's gone again. That was strange. She seemed okay until I opened my mouth. Oh, you smell like shit, don't you? You smell like booze. What should I do? Wait or help her? Oh, do not help her! No, don't like bust in as she's vomiting being like, hey, I'll help you. She doesn't want you to see that. She doesn't need your help. Just wait. I'll wait for her to come back. Maybe I can look around somewhere. Yes. <laughs> man, oh man. Um, Don't look inside her drawer, please. For the love of God, don't look inside her drawer. Why don't you look at these books she has or the records she has? It's a record player for listening to vinyls. Very old school. There's a pretty cool collection here. Some classic rock albums, movie soundtracks. Wouldn't mind listening to some of these. On second thought, I have no idea how these things actually work. They look delicate, too. Probably shouldn't be playing around with this stuff. Hmm, an introduction to English literature. English literature in context. The rest of these look like textbooks around the same subject. I guess she's studying English literature at college or university? There's also some DVDs. There, now we know a little bit more about her hobbies, right? Hey, are you okay? Not really. I just felt sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night or too much drink. What should I do? Offer to leave, continue conversation. Um, offer help. I don't know how I could help. I, I don't know, how, how can you help? You're sick, what can I do? Maybe like go get some medicine or something? Continue conversation, let's offer help. Can I get you anything? Thanks, but I think I just need to get some rest. Are you sure? Yeah, sorry. I'll quickly gather up the remainder of my belongings. Okay, I've got all my stuff. Cool. There's a bus station just down the road from here, so you should be able to get home from there. Thanks. Listen, I appreciate we had a nice time last night. And I am grateful for that. I just don't feel very well right now. How should I respond? Oh! How should I respond? What? Um, she doesn't feel right now. Let's just say no problem, I guess. Like, stay friends. Oh shit, that's awkward. Man, hey, do you think I need to see- I need to see you again? That's like so fucked up. I need to see you. I have to. If I don't, I'm gonna die. No, what do we do? No problem. Like, oh, hey, no problem. If we agree, though, if we're not like, you know, we are interested in her a little bit. She has some cool hobbies. Um, uh, let's ask, stay friends? Can we stay friends? Oh, God, she hates it! Should have just said no problem. Yeah, I think so. Don't get me wrong, not friends with benefits or anything like that. But you were here for me at a time of need. You didn't sneak out in the night or this morning whilst my back was turned. I'm grateful for that. So yeah, friends it is. Hmm, it's friends enough? Maybe I shouldn't go and spoil a good thing like a friendship. And again, maybe she's holding back because she wants me to make the move. Should I ask if we can be more than friends? 
well, let's give it a shot, but, you know, I don't think she wants us to. She's giving us hints. She's dropping these vibes that she doesn't want to be more than friends with us. She's like, you were there for when I when I needed someone, but that's really it. So I think we should say no, but she seems cool, so I think we should say yes. But but if we stay friends, maybe later we could date her. Let's just try yes. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna regret my decision. I'm saving this friggin' game. <laughs> I'm saving this game and we're saying Yes! If there's a chance to become anything more than just friend, now's the time to ask. I'd regret it if I didn't try. Do you think we'll ever be more than friends? Oh. Uh um. Look, I said I did have a nice time. I do appreciate that you didn't bail on me as soon as you woke up, but... Listen, uh, I'm sure some people find something deep in a one-night stand, but I don't. I don't want it to be like this. Okay, um, no, let's let's load our game, please, for the love of God. I knew I was gonna regret doing that, yes. And my net, my normal, like... My normal thought pattern would be to not ask to be more than friends, just accept the one-night stand as it is, because it's just a one-night stand. She's cool, but if we stay friends, maybe we'll eventually, like, date. Like, you know, if we stay in contact, just say no. No. Why spoil a good thing? Of course. I think she's made herself clear. Besides, if we stay in touch, who can say what could happen in the future? EXACTLY! Beautiful! That's exactly what I would want. So, why'd I even say yes to begin with? I should've just said no. Should've gone with my gut instinct. We're saying no. Friends it is. Okay, see ya. And she seems happy with that. Cool. Oh, did we actually kiss there? Or did we just hug? She sees you to the front door and you give her your mobile number. Though you still don't learn her name. <laughs> didn't- I didn't learn her name! Oh god! <laughs> you doubt the night you had together was the romantic experience that perhaps the girl had yearned for, but at least she was friendly towards you. You walk out into the street and head towards the nearby bus station, the one that she told you about. Despite your hangover, you had fun chatting to her. You enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about her before you left. That's a very neutral ending. When you arrive home, you charge your phone to discover a message from an unknown number. Thanks. Oh, that's it, thanks, X. <laughs> Aww. I wonder how else that could have played out. Yeah, that was a it was a little bittersweet. Like, it was like, okay, she was cool. We had some interest in her, but we didn't quite, you know, form a strong enough relationship to want, for her to want us in a relationship. Okay. You unlock the ending friend request. You have finished your first play of the One Night Stand. By replaying the game and doing these differently, you can experience new endings. If you want to skip the dialogue on another playthrough, you can toggle the end game. Okay. So let's start something else. Okay, so we asked her about music. My camera died because I've been working on this for a while and I had low battery. I'm stupid. And she says she's gonna play us a song. This is progress. That's beautiful. We're connecting. She's gonna play us a song. Yes, you seem uh, pretty keen. You can tell me what you think. Sure, yeah, okay. I've never actually played in front of someone. I'm the first. This is great. We're bonding. I can't promise it'll be your thing or if it'll even sound good. This guitar probably isn't even in tune either. But well, I hope you like it. Progress! Nice! And you play very well! Nice! That's cool! Can we stay friends? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't we be friends? Oh, see? Why wouldn't we be friends? See? Oh my god, that's great! I think this is the best ending we can get. There's no way you can say, I need you, because she doesn't believe in one-night stands and relationships, like falling in love like that. The girl sees you to the front door, and you give her your phone number, but you still don't learn her name. Whatever! That's not important. She seemed nervous when she began playing her guitar, but slowly warmed into it. By the time she finished, she appeared happy and confident. You thought she was really talented. You found her work in progress great, especially for a beginner. As you wave goodbye, you sense she is happy about how things went between you both that morning. The morning might have started off awkward, but you both warmed up to each other in the end. You walk home smiling, remembering her song. That's gotta be the best ending! That's the best! Yes! Not everything has to end in a relationship, okay? This is the lesson learned from it. When you arrive home, you charge your phone and discover a message from an unknown number. 
Thanks, I had a really great time this morning. Yeah, and that's all! That's great, and that's all it was, and that's all it'll ever be. Congratulations. Maybe, maybe someday later, we'll get along, we'll go on a date again or something, and we'll end up dating. But for now, that's all that matters. We had a great time. We started the morning awkward. We changed it into something beautiful. We got to listen to some, some, some music. Her play the guitar. Went home. Shaboom, shebang, it was a great morning. Let's all get on with our lives. Let's make YouTube videos. Let's, I was gonna say jerk off, don't know. I think the guy's gotten enough. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, where does this fit? See, this is, this is the, that's that the bottom. It's gotta mean it's the best one. You unlock the ending, her song. That was great, that was a beautiful ending. I'm glad we did that. Anyways, uh, my camera died, it's really weird. I'm talking to my camera, and because I'm so used to talking to my camera, but it's not even on. I really hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I'll see you in future videos on the channel. Remember to leave a like down below. If there is like, if there are different endings, maybe I'll get it in the next video if you guys are interested. I could try being an asshole. There's all sorts of different endings, but I'm sure a lot of them are just a mix of like, kind of being nice, kind of being a dick, searching through her stuff, getting caught for searching through her stuff. Some really like terrible endings, you know? But I mean, if you want to see Dick Van Wilderman come out and be a prick to everyone, then I guess that's, you know, leave a comment. Well, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in future videos on the channel, and as always, guys, peace.